In this video, I will demonstrate how to create, modify, optimize the quality, and adjust the exported file size for a custom font. Let's get started. In Squareline Studio, if you create a label widget, you can basically only use the built-in font set. In order to create your own, you need to generate a new font, which you can create on the Font Manager tab. Squareline Studio supports two file formats, TTF and OTF. In order for the font to appear on the Font Manager tab, you must first add it to the Assets. Press the Add File into Assets button on the Assets tab, then add the file you want to use. You can also add the font by simply copying the file into the Assets folder. Now, go to the Font Manager panel. Give the font a name this name will appear when you want to select it. Choose the font type you added to the Assets. Set a font size. The BPP value determines the level of texture filter to use. It's recommended to set it to at least 4. In the Letters drop-down, select the character set you want to use. You can choose from formats corresponding to the ASCII standard or generate sets for Korean, Chinese, or Japanese characters. In the Range section, you can enter a custom ASCII range. If you enter characters in the Symbols section, it will only generate those characters. This way, you can, for example, generate only numbers if you don't need letters in that particular font. In the Custom section, you can specify custom LVGL font-specific parameters. Once you've adjusted everything, press the Create button. The created font will appear in the Created Fonts group, where you can later modify it. Now, let's create a label. In the Inspector panel, under the Style Settings group, open the Text group. Here, you'll find settings related to the font, such as text color, line height, letter spacing, alignment, decoration, and font type. To add the new font, check the Text Font box in the Text Font section, then choose the created font from the drop-down menu. The widget's font will automatically change to the selected one. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.